Hey what's going on guys, JB here right, with another political video. Today we are going to be talking about the leaked George Floyd video that showed the footage leading up to the fatal moments. Before I actually start talking about the subject, I have to give a little disclaimer saying I'm, this video is in no way me saying that this clears the killing of George Floyd, but I am going to be showing it instead because if it had been made public earlier, then it would have led to less rioting, less property damage, and less accusations of racism being lobbed at the police. So again, this is no way clearing up for the officer who murdered George Floyd. That is terrible. It should never happen. This is going to show sort of what led up to this, these fatal moments. So as I found out, YouTube really doesn't like this video being uploaded by non-news channels. So you can see it here. I have a news channel that has it. I'm not going to be showing it on my channel. I'm going to be linking it below. Um, because I, I've noticed a lot of the political YouTubers and crime breakdown channels that I follow not showing this footage. Sadly, most of the footage was clipped by American news organizations. So I'd actually get the video from the Daily Mail, which is which I will again link in the description and have the in the pinned comment. All right. So now that I've got all this information out of the way, I'm going to start to explain what the leaked video means. Firstly, this video that again I, I urge you to watch. This video should not have been leaked. It should have been made available to the public way sooner to the George Floyd murder. This would have made it clear that the event was not racially motivated, as is often pushed by the media and by uh, activists. One of the main issues with the George Floyd issue was that he said that he could not breathe repeatedly while being not on, which again was a terrible thing to happen and should not have happened. In the leaked video, George Floyd is saying that he couldn't breathe even before, this is in the leaked video, that he, he said that he could not breathe even before he was taken to the ground, which may have been caused by the drugs of the system, such as fentanyl, uh, cannabinoids, and methamphetamine. All of which impair the reactions and thought processes of people as well as can cause lung issues. Not all of them, but some of them can. So in the video, the officers try to have Floyd come out of the car, to which he was then resisting, saying he, is either, he was anxious and that he asked the police officers initially, please don't shoot me. The officers then told him that they would, which they didn't. After removing Floyd from his vehicle, the officers talked to two of his acquaintances, one of which says that he is right in the head. So we have a flag one right there for Floyd. When asked if he's on anything, they appeal either not to know or somewhat say no. And, and when he, Floyd was asked directly, he said that he was not on any drugs. This is very important, as the officers may have treated the situation differently if they had known he was impaired under the influence of drugs. Again, none of these are reasons that can ever justify the fullness of the need to the neck that was in the death of George Floyd, the information that, that would have helped deal with the public outrage and the officers' understanding of the situation. After getting to the officer's vehicle across the street, the officers then try to get Floyd into the car, to which he resists, saying he's claustrophobic and that he has anxiety issues. The officers say that once he's in the car, they will open the window for him in the back so he can have air. Floyd further resists, was able to be put into the back of a squad car after one officer pushes on one side and another pulls on the other. This, however, did not last long. Floyd used the officer's momentum by pushing from one side and pulling another to fling himself out from the other side of the car where the officer was pulling from. Floyd then asked the officer to let him lay down on the ground, to which they did. The clip ends off here there, and I'm sure we all know it was sadly an inhumanely recorded next. Now, when I say Floyd asked for the officers to put him on the ground, he said, I would, he's like, I would rather be on the ground, something along those lines you'd see in the video. While nobody thinks that the murder of George Floyd is anywhere near being justified by this leaked footage, it is very important to see that the officers did not act in any way that indicated racial motive, they actually spent time trying to get Floyd to cooperate, and were unaware of his intoxication. All of this information would have not only soothed some of the public outrage, but many believing that the event occurred only because of a racist cop hated black people instead of seeing that a large and powerful man was not in his right mind and resisted arrest for several minutes. Again, I feel like I'm saying this over and over throughout the video because I, I feel like I need a complete clarification that none of this excuses the actions of the officer, but it could have helped to make the American public realize that death was not due to racism but instead because of police negligence, which we need to focus on. I think this is a good spot to end off the video. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like, hitting the subscribe button, maybe maybe even sharing this with a friend. This channel is getting very close to hitting 100 subscribers, so consider helping out. Until next time, stay safe everyone, and peace, peace.